Are you aware of this divine energy that lights us all up and that gives us that spark to keep us all going? Some might refer to this as our chi, others may call this our prana, as Chance Garden mentioned when he was on my podcast. Well, whatever you call it, this energy has to be protected at all costs. Find out what things are draining this chi and what things are going to help to recharge it and get you living at your highest vibrational state possible. So let's get to the video now. So guys, welcome back to the Jared and James channel, I'm Jared Weiss, and if you guys didn't know that, must mean that you're not subscribed to the channel, so you know what to do, smash that subscribe button, be sure to leave a like, drop a comment, let me know what you guys think of this video, follow me on every platform, wherever you guys listen to content, I'm there, so check me out everywhere, follow me everywhere, support the channel, support the brand, support the message. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about this idea of our chi, and how to protect our life energy at all costs, because if we don't have boundaries around this energy, chances are we're going to lose it, and we're going to be living a life that, that isn't actually meant for us. I'm going to be talking about things that are going to be draining your energy, and I'm going to be talking about things that are going to light you back up, and they're going to recharge this battery. I feel completely recharged! Of limitless life force that's within all of us. First off, one thing that I'm very passionate about when it comes to protecting my own internal energy is starting my day off with no phone. Half And I'm definitely going to be talking about my whole morning routine in a future video. I'm going to be taking you guys through it. But our phones could definitely be amazing. They could definitely be incredible tools. They're definitely incredible ways for getting my message out to the world. They're definitely awesome when it comes to listening to positive content, when it comes to learning more. But as we all know, there's also a lot of downsides to this to our phones, which is one of the reasons why I believe the logo for Apple is actually this bite out of the apple, which could be representative of the forbidden fruit that was eaten in the Garden of Eden. Anyways, it is also an incredible tool that helps a lot of people. But if you're starting your day on your phone, as soon as you wake up, you're going to be draining this life force that's within you. That's why I start my day the first 45 minutes to an hour after I wake up. That phone stays off. That phone stays off all night also. And I also finish my day with my phone off. I start my day by connecting to my breath, connecting to my inner world, taking care of my inner world. I start my day by going outside, getting connected with nature. And as I said, I'm going to be going through this routine in a future video at some point. I still don't know when, when I'll be doing that. But the reason for this is because I want to prioritize taking care of my inner vessel and keeping all the energy that's, it, that's within it clean as possible so that this way I have more energy to give to the rest of the world and I can come into the world with a clear mind and from a much healthier standpoint. That's why doing this is definitely going to invigorate my chi. It's going to keep my energy clean. I'm connecting to my breath work, starting my day with meditation, breath work, connecting to nature, etc, etc. I do some more things I do also. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to say that starting my day without my phone is key for protecting my energy and key for invigorating my life force. And then once my mind is clear, once my body is ready to handle the day, then I could check my phone, then I could get into whatever positive or negative stuff is out there, then I could check my social media, I could check my comments, I could check how many views I got, I could listen to some amazing podcasts, watch some incredible YouTube videos, but like how you start your day and how you finish your day is going to be key for making sure your chi stays pure and making sure that your chi is running on high vibrations. Next up, another one of these energy drainers out there, one of these life force killers out there, Wow, a killer. Yeah, that's him, the killer. Is gonna be getting involved in these nasty arguments online. What an idiot! Oh, what a loser! I mean, recently in particular, even though this video is probably gonna come out a few weeks since some of the stuff that I spoke about, but in particular, certain topics I've been discussing have really been drawing out some extremely emotionally charged, angry people at me for some reason. You suck! Even though I'm just asking the questions here, I'm just trying to spread truth, love, and positivity, trying to help people seek their own light, trying to help people empower themselves, but not everyone is ready to hear some of these truths I'm talking about, not everyone is ready to speak about the possibility of flat earth, not everyone is ready to speak about the medical industrial complex, and even though I've been speaking about many of these things for a while now, I guess some of these people are starting to listen to me more. The problem is, y'all listen. 
what am I supposed to do? Eat it? As I've said in the past, I'm totally fine with, with engaging with real genuine questions. I definitely don't expect everyone to agree with my viewpoints. I don't expect everyone to blindly trust what I say, nor do I want anyone to blindly trust me. I want people to question these things for themselves and to dig deeper into the research and look into all these areas where we may have been lied to because my research and my perceptions and everything that I've been learning tells me that we're not on the spinning ball that's rotating at a thousand miles per hour and hurling 66,000 miles per hour through space. Something tells me there's there's, there's a lot of deception behind that. There's a lot of deception behind Antarctica. And I've been called every name in the book the past few days. I've had people make fun of my speech. I've had people tell me how stupid I am. I've, I've had people try to curse me out and whatnot. I've also gotten some of the nicest comments I've ever gotten. People telling me how amazing what I'm doing is, telling me to keep going, telling me to not listen to all these haters and to trust that my work and everything that I'm saying is incredible and that some people just aren't ready for this type of stuff. And I also believe that like some people just aren't ready for that level of personal responsibility that knowing that you're this divine creature who didn't just land here by accident actually gives you. And I've gotten nasty comments in the past, especially on my hard truths videos or on the clips from these videos. I understand that being on social media comes with the territory, speaking on these topics comes with the territory, and walking in truth, you're bound to receive the wrath of society. But like, I know I'm walking in my purpose, I know I'm spreading truth to the world, I know I'm helping the world become a better place. I'm trying to do better. So anyways, in order to protect this en this energy, and in order to protect this chi, I can't be getting involved in these nasty arguments. Mm -hmm. you gotta harness in the good energy, block out the bad. Harness, energy, block bad which is why i respond to everyone as kindly as possible as hard as it is don't get me wrong some of these people i want to i really want to fight back with them that guy's driving me crazy don't push me bob now's not the time i want to argue with them i want to tell them how everything they're saying is wrong i want to show them how indoctrinated they are i want to show them the truth about all these topics oh i swear sometimes i want to take your big dumb dummy head and just but when it comes down to it they can say what they want and i have no control over what they're gonna say i have no control over how these people are gonna react to me and me speaking what i believe to be the truth or at the very least asking questions on these topics but i can't control them i can control how i respond and i have to stay true to myself they want to try to bring me down to their level. I mean, think about it. Why would anyone doing good, feeling happy, living their best life, why would any of those people leave a nasty comment on my page telling me how dumb I am, telling me how stupid I am, just for asking questions, especially when I'm coming from this genuine, kind-hearted place, trying to help the world level up their knowledge, trying, trying to help people seek truth, other than the fact that they're unhappy, they're projecting this onto other people, and they just want to put me down. They don't want me to have the elevator. So I'll make sure I got an elevator. Or could it be that maybe what I'm saying is a threat to their belief system because they don't believe they're special, they don't believe that they were put on this earth for a purpose, they don't believe that they're one of God's beautiful creations, they don't want to believe that God created this earth with a firmament, separate us from the heavens, and maybe some of these people just haven't looked beyond what they were told in school or beyond what the mainstream media told them, which is totally fine. I mean, to be honest, we should be able to trust these people, but it's up to us to do our own critical thinking, to go, to go on our own research journeys. I found that a lot of these people don't want to accept what I'm saying because they don't believe that like they're smart enough or they're not special enough to be these researchers, or as it comes back to this whole trust the science thing but many of these people have been living below their potential and they're looking for ways to justify it so instead of looking into what i'm speaking about they're gonna judge me they're gonna attack me they're gonna say to me that i'm not a scientist that i'm dumb that my voice is messed up even though these people have never met me these people don't know anything about my whole story these people have no idea what i've been through and yes it can hurt and yes it can be difficult to respond to these people nicely to show love to everyone to understand where these people are coming from like these people wouldn't be responding this way to me if they were truly happy and truly living their best lives but i have to protect my own energy and so i can't be stooping down to that level i can't be getting involved in these nasty arguments name calling and going a step further as hard as it is i've discovered that like it's actually important to like almost disassociate yourself from this online persona and understand that like these people aren't critiquing you because these people don't know you these people have never met you so like how could they know anything about you how could they know what your actual intent are i mean i have people calling me a fraud you're a fraud for even asking questions i mean like it's actually really crazy out there online i mean same breath i've also gotten some incredibly kind comments and i really appreciate those 
And those are what I try to focus on because doing that is going to elevate my own energy and it's going to help me keep going further and further and it's going to help me stay encouraged and continuing on my path. This isn't me saying that I am the truth or that everyone has to believe me, but like it's just saying that when people are leaving nasty comments on your page, when people are hating on you, hating on your dreams, typically that's because they're actually projecting their own insecurities onto you. They're actually projecting their own flaws and their own shortcomings onto you because they don't believe that like they could go after their dreams and, and so they want to hold you back from going after yours because doing that will almost justify their own decisions. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you you can't do it. If you want something, go get it. Period. And truthfully, as I've also discovered, even though I'm not at this point where I'm getting millions of comments yet, but like the past few days I've definitely gotten a solid amount of them, not every person needs a response. As kind of a person as I am, as I try to be the nicest person to everyone out there, even the people who hate on me, I still try to show them kindness because I believe in karma and I believe in putting out good positive energy into the world and so I believe that I'm going to get that back in return even if others don't show me that same respect and that same love and kindness. But I've also discovered that not every person needs a response, not every person deserves a response, and it's also important to set boundaries where people can't cross, and if they do cross, you have to let them know that they crossed. And this doesn't really go for social media because you're not going to get people to change, you're not going to get any of these trolls like them to change who they are. But when it comes to people in your life, when it comes to pe people in your inner circle, when it comes to people who you're closely surrounded with, set boundaries and understand that if people cross these lines, if, if people cross these boundaries, and this is something that like, I just have to get better at because I've definitely had times in my life where I'm not assertive enough to let people know when they've crossed these lines. You just have to learn to be more assertive. But sometimes there's a place where if you really do care about that person then you actually let them know that, like they crossed this line they said something that, like went too far and that they shouldn't have said that or in other cases it's, it's actually important to like step away from that situation well stop being mad at me i'm not mad at you i'm done when someone keeps responding to you nasty on social media, step away, don't even respond, don't give that person the satisfaction of knowing that like seeing that comment mess with your head in any way. But when it comes to real life situations, when it comes to being in the real world, and when someone mistreats you and crosses that line that you've set for yourself, you have to let them know that you deserve better and that that person can't step over this line and that if they do, there's going to be consequences. When you have this amazing heart of gold, when you have this incredible life energy that you know that you were blessed with, you can't let other people step over that. You can't let people take advantage of you. You can't let people just walk right over you as if you're not special and as if you don't deserve to be treated like this incredible human being that you are. And coming back to this idea that, that not every person needs a response, also going along the same lines when it comes to protecting your energy, not every text needs an immediate response either. You could be busy, you could be doing something, you could be with a friend, you could be with a family member, and if you really want to enjoy that time, then to have your phone right next to you at all times and to have to respond right away is a lot of pressure on you and it's not fair to you. So like you have to you have to set that boundary, you have to protect that energy and understand that sometimes you don't have to respond to everyone right away. You could wait a few hours, you could get back to that person when it's more convenient for you, which is also why whenever I'm with friends and whenever I'm in an intimate conversation with family, most of the time I'll either have my phone far enough away from me where I won't even acknowledge it there or sometimes I'll even put it on airplane mode and throughout my day like I'm actually have plenty of times where whether I'm on a walk outside or whether I'm talking with someone at the gym or talking with a family member I'll actually have my phone off or on airplane mode to show that person that I'm really there with them as opposed to in this other world and so doing this once again is, is gonna secure that energy and it's gonna make sure that your energy is going to the right places. Next up, being around people who are constantly complaining, gossiping, engaging in all this low vibrational talk that doesn't help anyone, it's just about speaking bad words or speaking negative towards people. That is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. This is definitely going to lower your own vibrations. If you're around it for too long, it's going to drain that energy from you. It's going to drain all that positive chi from you. Find yourself people in your life who are goal oriented, who talk about their big ideas, talk about achieving their dreams and making things happen as opposed to talking about how ugly that person is or how fat that person is or how annoying this person is. Because when you engage in all that petty nonsense talk, that's energy that could be spent on your goals and on making things happen and on creating positive energy with your words. Because as I've spoken about on here in the past, your words have power. Words take on a life force of their own and they can be used to, to lift people up, to tear them down, to put your dreams into, into existence or to tear them down or to tear down other people. And that's why it's important to be using your words wisely. Going along these same lines, codependent friendships, codependent relationships could also drain your 
you have that energy. When you're someone who can't be happy without the other person. When you're someone who relies on this other person, whether friends or, or a significant other for everything. Or even that friends who you know isn't good for you, but you keep them around just because you've known them for a long time. We're just not suited to be friends. And just because you feel bad about letting them go. But like sometimes, you have to make the decision to cut the cord to get that person out of your life if they're one of these parasites who are just draining your energy and not adding anything back to it sometimes you have to thank them for what they did and just move on hold on to the people who are adding this positive energy back to your life who make you feel alive who make you feel happy to be who you are and get rid of these negative energy drainers who aren't adding anything positive to your life who aren't adding anything positive to your aura and to don't make you feel good to be around them moreover talking about the power of our words we also have this parasite class or the quote-unquote elite which there's nothing elite about them but the people who control the news the people who were spreading all this negativity and trying to get us to not be our best smartest healthiest versions of ourselves and to are getting you to not seek truth and to call out people who are I mean think about it the mainstream media literally handpicks the most negative stories that are out there that are going to get you as divided as possible they're going to get you to hate this person or hate that person and that are going to get some people's blood boiling they're doing that purposely because it's essentially this parasite class who's controlling this and they're all about this idea of divide and conquer so they don't want us unifying under this positive light but when you actually step step aside from this and when you actually seek truth through independent research you're gonna be elevating your own internal energy because truth is gonna always vibrate higher than lies you're gonna be realizing how important spirituality is you're gonna be realizing how special you are as opposed to the lies that are trying to reduce you down to this speck of nothing in this grand universe that like they want to tell you was just created randomly by this big bang but like when you actually go deeper into conspiracy you end up going back to spirituality because as chance said conspiracy work is spiritual work and so look into these things for yourselves don't just blindly trust anyone don't blindly trust the news who's gonna handpick certain stories and ignore others remember to distance yourself from this super negative news because being surrounded by all those negative news stories is gonna drain that energy out of you and it's gonna bring you more to this negative side of the spectrum which is gonna lead to depression anxiety and it's only gonna heighten those things the more that you listen to that mainstream news as opposed to listening to positive podcasts positive youtube videos high vibrational songs all that high vibrational stuff is gonna reinvigorate that chi that prana and elevate you in your mood and much of what i'm saying brings me back to one of my all-time favorite quotes which is let your smile change the world don't let the world change your smile as well as another one of my favorite quotes which is don't let anyone take up space in your head if they're not paying rent you have a lot of control over where you're devoting your energy to and if you don't charge yourself up properly with all these positive things other people or other forces are going to gladly do it for you and they're going to fill your head with all this negativity with negative news negative comments they're going to be draining you they're going to be sucking that life force out of you as opposed to adding back to it which is why it's so important to be intentional with where you're devoting your energy intentionally give your energy to what actually deserves it and lastly the last thing i want to talk about it's going to be draining your own internal energy and it's going to be sucking that chi out of you it's going to be what you're actually putting into your body the chemicals in our foods the chemicals in our skincare products do you really think that those lab grown ingredients are going to help to sustain that life force or on the other hand are they going to make your body have to work harder to extract any energy from those foods this is why it's so important to be eating real whole foods that come from the earth that are organic animal products that are humane raised because even food has vibrations to it and so by eating this natural way that humans are designed to be eating it's gonna raise your own vibrations and it's gonna allow your body to absorb more energy from these foods and not have to work as hard in producing energy for you and for all of your life's tasks and if you don't think that injecting toxins into your body or breathing them in or being surrounded by all this 5g which is messing with our own internal frequencies and if you're not detoxifying from these things if you don't think that all those chemicals that all those poisons out there are gonna have an effect on your life force and your thought patterns and your mood and your energy levels you're crazy be intentional when it comes to your health take control back over your health live like a human get outside being indoors too much is also going to be draining the energy out of you it's important to get outside in nature when you can doing grounding is going to reinvigorate your energy it's going to offload these 
negative ions into the earth and even just listening to nature's sounds is going to help your body to relax promote that rest and digest it and allow your body to re-energize and to recharge for the moments when you really need it drinking alcohol and doing drugs is going to lower your chi i mean think about it why do they call alcohol spirits i gotta get to the choppy <laughs> And even though I'm someone who never drinks, who never does any drugs, and who never has, I'm not saying that like you can't ever have a drink if you're old enough and if you're responsible about it, but just know that there's consequences to every action you take. And so drinking poison is not going to be beneficial for the energy. I will be talking more about this idea in a future video of why and how I've never drank or smoked in my life. And I also have a large section about that in my book. For when that comes out, you guys will be able to read about that. But anyways, all I'm saying is to be smart about it. I would encourage you to avoid these poisons whenever you can. I can't control everyone. I can only make suggestions. But remember that, that everything that you put into your body has a consequence. And especially when it comes to these poisons, they're going to lower your hormones. And they're going to drain you. They're going to alter your mind and deplete your brain cells. Be smart about it. Make sure that your health is, is a top priority. And so don't get sucked into the peer pressure just because everyone else is doing it doesn't mean that you have to do it also once again this doesn't make you a bad person and i'm not saying that you can never have a sip of alcohol ever i mean once again it's not up to me it's up to you but all i'm saying is i've never done it and i'm happier without it i believe i don't need it to have fun but just know the consequences of everything that comes in contact with your body and protect your own internal chi protect your own internal decision making ability don't give that up to others moving your body of course is extremely important for your own life energy we, we need to be constant moving in order to to move waste throughout our lymphatic system as well as to to keep our muscles strong to keep our bodies strong keep our minds strong as i've spoken about numerous times in other videos but it's also important to not be overdoing it because when you overdo it you're going to be pushing more towards your reserves energy and then you're going to be making your body have to work harder to be able to produce energy and you're not going to be well rested enough anyways i know i gave you guys a lot in this video but hopefully this video reiterates the importance to you of protecting your chi knowing how to revitalize it knowing what drains it knowing what to avoid knowing what to lean into more and also one more thing i want to add is that what i've discovered is that not every person deserves all of you because th there's only so much of you there's only so much of your energy to go around and so if you if you're just freely giving out that giving up your energy to, to people who don't deserve it to people who don't belong in your life or to people who don't add value to it then you're not gonna have anything left to give to yourself and to give to the things that actually do matter. I hope you guys could take some of this advice into your own lives. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I love you guys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to drop a like. Follow me on every platform. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Stay calm. Protect your own internal energy. Set boundaries. Live like a human. Eat right. Hydrate well. Keep an amazing inner circle of people around you. Don't get drawn into nasty arguments online. Make sure you're listening to positive stuff in the media. Make sure you're being intentional with where you're putting your focus. With what you're putting into your body. Realize that every action you take has a consequence. Always be more on the side of what's going to reinvigorate your life force. Of what's going to produce more of this positive energy in your body. As opposed to what's going to drain it what's gonna suck it out of you and i will catch you guys in the next video peace